Okay, what we're trying to do with the simplex method is determine our maximum profit, what point that occurs. So what we do with the net evaluation row is we determine if more profit can be made or if we're at that maximum profit point. If we we're doing a minimization problem, we'd be trying to find the, find the lowest cost, so could we reduce any more cost? How we do that is we can see that at x1, if we produced another unit at x1, we'd make $250 plus 2.5m worth of profit. We'd make $400 plus from each x2 we manufactured. So we have not reached our optimal solution yet. To be optimal solution, we can't find any more profit. In other words, our net evaluation row has to be less than or equal to zero for optimal. And again, we have a maximization problem. So for a maximization problem, we want these to be negative or zero. In other words, telling us we can't make another unit of profit from manufacturing one more unit. If we were doing a minimization problem, it would be the exact opposite, because we wanted to find out that we couldn't ink another uh, uh, bit of savings from our equation. 